Hello everyone, welcome to DIY in 5. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and today we are discussing ways to free up storage in your Android 5.0 device. If you've got one of those evil phones without expandable memory, shots fired, you know who you are, listen up. These tech tips may make all the difference in the world to you. Now everything we discuss in this video will be using Samsung Android 5.0, so if you have an LG, Motorola, or Nexus device, your options might look a little different. First, let's start with one of the most common offenders of storage hoarding, apps. Apps are what personalize our phones and make them so addictive, but they can also take up huge chunks of storage. Google has included an easy way to see which of your apps are taking up the most storage. Just go into Settings, Storage, Used Space, Apps, and you'll see a list of all your apps. Sort them by size to see the largest apps at the top, and then delete the apps you no longer need. This can quickly give you a few gigabytes of storage back. That adorable couples app from three relationships ago? <laughs> that can definitely go. Thanks to the plethora of awesome cameras on newer Android devices, most of us don't use a separate camera. The problem is, most of the puppy, kitty, baby, selfie, and silly face photo rejects, i.e. the photos that you took trying to get just the right photo, are just left sitting in your gallery taking up space. If you go to Camera, Settings, and pick a resolution a little more appropriate for photographing your dinner, that's a great start. Follow that up by using a cloud app like Google Photos to store your pictures. It's free and you can save HD copies of all your photos to their servers, enabling you to delete them from your phone. The best part is you'll still have access to all those photos from your phone, tablet, or even your PC. Another secret hideaway that could be collecting storage eating files is your download folder. Every time you download something on your phone, the files will end up in the downloads folder. Over time, this really fills up and can be easy to overlook. Even a phone that's only a few months old could be filled with random photos, PDFs, silly GIFs, you name it. Go to your settings, storage, used space, downloads, select the files to delete, hold down until you see the delete icon and press delete. Bye bye Do you watch TV shows or movies on your phone? If so, and you aren't deleting them after, you should, and this will free up quite a bit of storage. HD movies and TV shows are usually very large files, and once you've watched them, you can remove them from your device and stream or download them again later whenever you want them from Google Play. Just open Google Play Movies and TV and click the menu icon. After that, click My Library. Select the video or videos you want to remove and touch Menu, Remove from Device. Now, if you did happen to purchase a phone with a micro SD slot, give yourself a high five right now. One of the benefits of many Android phones is the ability to add storage. Adding storage via a micro SD allows you to double or triple your storage for a fraction of the cost of a device with more built-in storage. Some devices even support micro SD cards up to 128 gigabytes. Crazy. So what's taking up all your memory? Don't be embarrassed. Tell us all about it in the comments below. Think of us as your therapist. If you have a tip to add, please share it in the comments below and be sure to subscribe for more everyday tech tips and videos. My name's Trisha Hirschberger and thank you for watching this episode of DIY in 5.